it's 2025 and SEO is not dead, but it's changing. For decades now, Google has had over 90% of the market share for online searches, and it finally happened. They dipped down under 90% for the first time ever. What does that mean? This means that by the end of the year, we might have to strategize for more than just Google SEO. In this video, I'm gonna show you my simple three-step framework to prepare for AI SEO and the one tool you'll need to use to make sure you're actually showing up in it. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you my results for following this framework and how it may or may not be getting me to show up in ChatGPT search right now. All right, so if we're gonna talk about AI search engines, we gotta start with the old school um, SEO approach. And now today I'm gonna to be talking about local SEO um, because that's what we do here in this channel. We talk about local SEO. So there are three things that are important for local SEO. Quick refresher, it's your Google business profile, it's your website and it's links. Why? Well, let's just search for general contractor near me. So the first thing that shows up are some ads. Then we have the map pack and then we have the organic results, okay? So the prime real estate in local SEO is the map pack right here, followed by the organic links, which are your website. What determines this ranking here? That's authority. So if we go back over here, you can see the three things are your GBP, your website, and links, which is what builds authority, okay? Now when it comes to doing your Google business profile, you wanna make sure it's optimized, doing GBP updates, that you're adding photos regularly and you're getting a steady stream of reviews. By the way, if you wanna get better at this kind of stuff, we have a brand new video where that's like 40 minutes long on how to optimize your Google business profile. So be sure to check that out. And we'll put a link in the description also for like one of our classic videos where we show you how to get more and better reviews on Google. Now, that's just for your GBP. What about for your website? Because your website can actually help your GBP as well. Well, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna optimize for these SEO hotspots. Now, if you're not sure what those are, I talk about these sometimes. I'm probably the only one that calls them this. Um, but the SEO hotspots are your, pause for dramatic effect, SEO title, your meta description, your H1, and your permalink. You wanna make sure that you add those keywords in naturally in those spots. It's also really helpful to have individual service pages. So for all the services that you do, you wanna make sure that you have a page Page for that service and it would be helpful to have all of your locations having their own page and we could talk more about this in a different video I'm just giving you a quick overview of how local SEO works and then the last thing you want to do is you want to have these links uh, which are links pointing to your website from other websites and you want them to be locally relevant citations they really shouldn't be that important but they still are now there's one tool that really really helps you out here while you're doing your local SEO and it's Google Search Console. Google Search Console essentially lets you tell Google like, hey, will you put my website in the Google phone book? You know, and so what this does is it tells Google to index your website, okay? And all that is is putting it in the Google phone book. So when somebody searches for general contractor near me, you at least have a chance of showing up. If you don't do this step, Google will probably find your website when it's crawling naturally, but this is a way to kind of grease the wheels. And so we wanna have access to Google Search Console when we're doing Google SEO. Now, there are other AI tools out there, but the clear winner right now is definitely ChatGPT Search. So how do we get featured in ChatGPT Search? Well, um, if you're gonna to listen to anybody on this topic, you should listen to uh, whoever runs this place called Then Can Designs because you know they're showing up first when you're looking for SEO agencies in Bend, Oregon. Now we're not the featured links, which I'd like to get to, but uh, showing up first, that's always great. I wonder who could possibly know anything about then can designs. So the equation is still actually the same, and this is, this is what I want you to know, but it changes a little bit. So the first thing is instead of your GBP, your Google business profile, now it's Bing places. Then next up is your website, and then last but not least, it's links. Now, before we get into the details of that, I do wanna talk about like, how do these things even work, right? How does it work? How do uh, these AI chatbots go out and search? Well, the first thing is you put your search into the little chatbot, okay? And then from there, ChatGPT pulls out some really high quality searches and sometimes we'll even run multiple searches. Now, this is the important piece. What happens next is ChatGPT is going to be looking through these search pages and potentially even going on to pages. What it's probably doing is just looking at the code. It's moving so fast, it doesn't have the time to like visually look at the page. 
And so the better structured a website can be, technically speaking, and this could even mean that stuff like uh, a word that used to be dead in local SEO, but schema might come back. So it's important to not sleep on things like schema nowadays. But so you have your initial query, it might get broken up into smaller searches, and then you get individual pages, it's going through these and then it's even potentially like looking at the you know, the code for these actual pages, like from each result to kind of amalgamate its response, then it goes from there and it crafts its response with links, which are kind of like these things right here. Um, and they show up as little citation circles. And this is essentially how ChatGPT search works and as other tools like Google's DeepMind research tool and other ones work is they're going out, they're crawling the web and they're coming back. Now I wanna zoom back into this step. This step right here is massively important because it is using a search engine. Over time, yeah, probably ChatGPT will make their own search engine, but for now we know with a lot of confidence that ChatGPT is in fact using Bing as its search engine. So that means if ChatGPT search is the winner of the AI search battle, and at the end of the year, it has like a 20% market share of search, then we wanna make sure right now in January, we're doing what we need to, to show up for Bing. And so that's why when we go back over here, you see me talking about something like Bing places, which we all know we don't use. And so the main thing we wanna do is you wanna go through and optimize that profile. Now it's really cool, and if you stick around, there'll be a goodie for you at the end of this video. And so you'll see how to do this in more detail. But it's really cool, but you can actually link up your GBP to this and it'll stay synced, so that's kinda nice. Uh, you definitely wanna add photos, Bing even recommends adding six photos to your profile to kind of optimize it. And then you wanna get reviews. Now look and see where your competitors are getting reviews. It's not gonna be on Bing. It's gonna be from Yelp or Facebook or something like that. So try to keep up with where your competitors are at. Now, when it comes to your website, honestly, it's the same stuff that you were doing for Google SEO you're gonna do for your website. So, you know, SEO is still SEO. And same thing for links. We have to imagine that the links you get for Google SEO is gonna be helpful for Bing SEO. Now, sometimes Bing SEO is quote unquote easier than Google SEO. Like you might be able to just put like straight up like exact match SEO titles into your web pages and that might get it to show up in Bing where it wouldn't work on Google because its algorithm is a little bit more complicated. But I think that I would go for a sustainable approach because remember that you know, the vast majority of searches are still gonna be going through Google SEO this year, as opposed to ChatGPT search or whoever else wins the AI search engine battle. Now, the last tool you need to know about uh, is basically the Google Search Console equivalent, which is Bing Webmaster. So, just like with Google, Bing Webmaster is the guy you need to talk to if you wanna be in the Bing phone book. Now, it's something that's usually not that important, but it, it, it has now become massively important. So Bing Webmaster is gonna make sure your website is indexed in Bing, especially your new updated version that you just optimized by watching all the videos on our channel that you're definitely subscribed to and you like this video because this was interesting and you're like, what the heck, this is kind of cool, but I'm scared. Do I really have to diversify my marketing? I don't know, but that doesn't matter. But you're gonna go into Bing, you're gonna update your website a little bit, you're gonna tweak your website a little bit, and then you're gonna go to Bing Webmaster, you're gonna ask it to index it. You'll probably go to Google Search Console too. And at the end, everything will all be good. And so yeah, like that's a quick rundown of how local SEO works right now. Essentially, how ChatGPT is getting its responses for search and how to optimize for ChatGPT search. And just as a quick reminder, we're already doing it over here and we're gonna start doing it with our clients very soon. And so you wanna make sure that you stay on the cutting edge because when it comes to marketing, every once in a while, there are massive opportunities and you wanna be on the cutting edge. You don't wanna be lagging behind. So there you have it. The three steps that you need to worry about to show up for chat GPT search and the one tool that you will be using to stay indexed. So that way you're actually recommended by chat GPT search. And guess what? If Gemini or Claude or one of the other AI companies out there ends up winning the battle, 
you now have the lessons that you need. And if you're thinking to yourself like, man, I really want to do this for my small business. No worries. I actually show you exactly what I did to get these results in that video right there. So be sure to check out that video and get ahead in the AI search engine game. I'll catch you in that one.